Hi. I'm actually coming to you from the East Coast, uh, where I am um, with my family in Maryland. It might look like this is my office because it's a bunch of Peaches stuff behind me. You know, there's Peaches over here. This is my movie all about evil. This is our Clueless poster, but it's actually my mother's um, office. She's a very proud mom. And I've been uh, going into DC uh, to stay with my brother and protesting safely with a mask. Being part of the Black Lives Matter protest right now feels like the best way to celebrate pride. Pride really started uh, with a riot, you know, and it was born out of, you know, um, act, people taking action, whether it was in San Francisco with the Compton's Cafeteria riot or in, you know, New York with Stonewall, where queer people had had enough and enough was enough. That's where we're at with Black Lives Matter, clearly. I think it's been exciting to see the queer community jumping in and saying, yes, this is how we'll celebrate Pride this year. And what's been beautiful about uh, the drag community in, in, in particular is drag queens are kind of like cockroaches. Like drag queens will always find a way. They will, you will never snuff us out. When the quarantine happened, I was actually in rehearsal uh, with Jinx Monsoon and Bindula Creme for a big show at the Castro Theater. But by that Saturday, you know, we didn't have a show. A few days later, I started to get emails from other queens saying, we're gonna um, go on this thing called Twitch and we're gonna figure out a way to have drag shows online. It didn't miss a beat. Oh, you're gonna close the bars? That's okay, we'll figure out a way. We'll perform in a plastic bubble if we have to. Wherever you're at now, access your favorite drag queens, you know, um, digital drag show. I guarantee you, all the drag queens we know are doing something at this time of year. Another exciting uh, part of this year's Pride Month is that You Don't Know Me, uh, the documentary that's about basically analyzing the film Showgirls has finally been uh, released. A great local movie house, The Roxy at roxy.com is a place where you can actually go and watch You Don't Know Me, the documentary. And it's you know, fun to look back at um, many, many San Francisco shows featuring lap dancers and me bursting out of a volcano. We didn't know when we first screened Showgirls that it would quite catch on the way that it did, but I'm very proud of the Bay Area for helping. Really, I credit San Francisco in our show for making show, Showgirls the cult movie it became. I take full credit. <laughs> This is a request any drag queen gets a lot. Um, hey, I have this great idea. Let me film you putting on your makeup. And for most of us, it's like, stop asking. The makeup process is actually a, a sort of meditation. When there is a camera crew uh, and lights on you, it's intimidating. But these guys were so sweet. And they sent me the nicest email, you know, really appealing to my ego. So I agreed to do it and we shot it in one day and they filmed me putting on my makeup. And I mean, you see in the movie like hideous extreme close-ups that any drag queen would hate. You know, I mean, when I first saw the movie, I was like, I hate it. Now watching it, um, I realize they got me on a really good day. I was exhausted. I remember showing up on the set without my wig and almost having a breakdown. But it was the best thing that could have happened because um, they were really able to like get to the deep down nitty gritty of like why I do drag, which I don't really talk about that often. RuPaul has tweeted about this film more than once. You know, mm -hmm. I, I remember thinking like, oh, I wonder why I was able to kind of rewatch it. I'm like, oh, because it's that core of who, you know, who we are and why we do this, you know. Hi, I'm Joshua Grinnell, better known as Peaches Christ. And don't forget to watch the documentary, better known as Peaches Christ, on KQED's Truly California. Yeah.